design. Some of you might be saying, John, why are you doing a program on intelligent design? I mean, I mean, it's easy to believe that, you know, a super intelligence God created the universe, our world, plants, animals, and human beings. I mean, you know, everybody believes that, don't they? Unfortunately, they don't, and it's not being taught in our schools and universities. And I'd like you to hear an example from the new atheists, which are basically spreading the view that our schools and universities already accept a uh, materialistic, naturalistic view of the world, that uh, life and the world appear to be designed, but it's really not, all right? And here's Richard Dawkins talking about this. There's a garden, but no gardener. It looks designed, but it's not designed. I'd like you to listen. When we go into a garden and we see how beautiful it is and we see colored flowers and we see the butterflies and the bees, of course it's natural to think there must be a gardener. Any fool is likely to think there must be a gardener. The huge achievement of Darwin was to show that that didn't have to be true. It seems so obvious that if you've got a garden, there must be a gardener who created it and all that goes with that. What Darwin did was to show the staggeringly counterintuitive fact that this not only can be explained by a undirected process, it's not chance, by the way, entirely wrong to say it's chance. It's not chance. Natural selection is the very opposite of chance, and that's the essence of it. That was what Darwin discovered. He showed not only a garden, but everything in the living world, and in principle, not just on this earth, but on any other planet, wherever you see the organized complexity that we understand, that, that we call life, that it has an explanation which can derive it from simple beginnings by comprehensible rational means. That is possibly the greatest achievement that any human mind has ever accomplished. Not only did he show that it could be done, I believe that we can argue that, any, that, that, that the alternative is so unparsimonious and so counter to the laws of common sense that, reluctant as we might be because it might be unpleasant for us to admit it, although we can't disprove that there's a God, it is very, very unlikely indeed. All right, you heard that. Before Stephen comments on that, I want you to see the opposite viewpoint. I want you to actually see some of the scientific evidence about the complexity of the cell, and I want you to make your own judgment. Science has found that the cell is incredibly complex and follows very specific code that allows it to do its work. And the question is, where did the information in this code come from in the first place? I want you to see how complex this is. Watch this. With computer animation, we can enter the cell to view this remarkable system at work. After entering the heart of the cell, we see the tightly wound strands of DNA, storehouses for the instructions necessary to build every protein in an organism. In a process known as transcription, a molecular machine first unwinds a section of the DNA helix to expose the genetic instructions needed to assemble a specific protein molecule. Another machine then copies these instructions to form a molecule known as messenger RNA. When transcription is complete, the slender RNA strand carries the genetic information through the nuclear pore complex, the gatekeeper for traffic in and out of the cell nucleus. The messenger RNA strand is directed to a two-part molecular factory called a ribosome. After attaching itself securely, the process of translation begins. Inside the ribosome, a molecular assembly line builds a specifically sequenced chain of amino acids. 
These amino acids are transported from other parts of the cell and then linked into chains often hundreds of units long. Their sequential arrangement determines the type of protein manufactured. When the chain is finished, it is moved from the ribosome to a barrel-shaped machine that helps fold it into the precise shape critical to its function. After the chain is folded into a protein, it is then released and shepherded by another molecular machine to the exact location where it is needed. Now folks, what you are watching was what happens in one cell. And you have trillions of cells in your body and that stuff is going on right now. The fact is, do you think that that just appears to be designed or it is designed? Does it show intelligence to you? This has been an ATRI production.